YouTube Nation was good, man. I'm uh just leaving the uh apartment gym here, well, basically at my apartment. So I was just thinking, uh, the door probably should be open, but I was just thinking how uh, I used to say I was gonna do a lot of stuff, you know, back in the day over the years, and I would never do it. I would often broadcast, often do this, do that, and it's gonna be awesome, and uh, nothing ever comes to fruition. And it's, uh, and I learned that uh, my psyche, my mindset is, I'm the person who who, who just needs uh, to do it. I'm a do it person. Um, I think too often we broadcast what we want to do, and then when things don't work out. You know, we have to answer for what we said, we, you know, was going to happen. You know, we have that embarrassment. Uh, <clears throat> we feel dejected. And I think that's something uh, we as individuals, we might need to relook, uh, look at. Some of us, we can do it. You know, we can say, hey, I'm going to do this, and it gets done. Others of us, we need to just be quiet, just do the thing. And then when the people ask you about it, oh, yeah, I did that. And, uh, you know, it was done weeks ago. This year, I started working out seriously. I like, I, I. I'm on a kind of a regimen as much as I can be. Uh, my work uh, often requires me to be away from home weeks at a time, so I take advantage of uh, the little hotel gyms and this and third, or, or if I can get a, a trial membership at certain gyms, I, you know, I'll take advantage of it and get in there and uh, do it. And I, and I, I did it because uh, there was a cat I was working with who uh, he would go to the gym off to him. Another cat, I'm not going to name any names, uh, anything like that. Uh, but they would go to the gym faithful. And, I, and at first I slept and I was like, nah, man, I ain't, you know, ain't going to go. I'm not going to do this. And then one day I said, you know, it's, fuck it, let's go. Let's go to the gym. And the feeling of, uh, well, I had mixed feelings. I realized how weak I was, how weak I, I had became, how weak I had gotten over the years of not working out. Like, I'm, you know, I'm a big guy, 300 some pounds. And when you're doing a standard bench press and, you got two forty fives on both ends on the bar, and you can't lift it. That's a wake up call. That was a wake up call for me. It was like, whoa, wait a minute, bro. It's like, you know, as big as I am, this should be no problem. So, right now we're working out, and uh, of course the guys that are working out, they're stronger than I am. The, the main dude, he's the strongest. So of course, you know, when you, when you walk around with somebody stronger than you, they push you, they help you push your limits, and, and uh, it just felt good. You know, the testosterone going. You know, you know, grunting, ah, you know, I'm gonna get this set, I'm gonna push myself to the to the limit, I'm pushing myself past my limit. That was an awesome feeling. Uh we would do the do the sets, we work out so much to get tight, but like, all right, cool, let's go to sauna. I didn't realize, you know, the benefit of a sauna, I used to be like, man, I ain't feel something hot ass room <laughs> sweating and but it helps clear out your pores, uh and breathing. Uh, and also loosens up your muscles, man. It gets gets deep into your muscle tissue, helps loosen up so you can go back and you continue your sets, continue your workout regimen, and um, freaking the uh, light bouncing off the damn cones over here. And that was uh, that was an opener for me. It just it was a good experience. So it's like cool. Next day, let's go. You know, next day after that, let's go, let's go, let's go. And to feel muscles waking up, like my we were doing uh. Uh, one day was a chest, chest, trice, no, chest and legs, and man, I was in pain, uh, I had to, you know, change what I was eating, because I was eating all this crap, this, you know, frozen crab you put in the oven, and then it heated up, and it's, uh, you know, it's got a ton of sodium, no real nutritional value, so I went and got some almond milk, and uh, I got some vegan uh, protein, and I don't mess with the way, you know, because when you stop working out, when you use whey, you stop working out, you you gonna get fat again. I'm not I'm not doing that. And some of you may disagree. You know that's your, your prerogative. Whatever works for you works for you. But for me, I'm sticking with vegan. I'm actually trying to change my complete diet altogether, and what I eat. But so I I deal with that and I dealt, did the almond milk, um, and I started feeding my muscles the you know the protein and eat the lean protein, and I felt better. You know I realized like wow okay this waking up my chest muscle you know the incline and the decline is is waking up my entire pectoral region. You know, so I can get rid of these man boobs. So that's, you know, that was a good feeling. So uh, what I'm saying is for those who are trying to, you know, uh, whether you're trying to work out, you're trying to uh, go to school, uh, certificates, or, or start a business or whatever, just do it. You know, you ain't got to broadcast everything that's going on. And when 
here's the beautiful thing about not broadcasting everything you do. When you don't tell everybody your, all your plans, it becomes very hard for people who are uh, secretly jealous of you to stop what you're doing. It's hard for somebody to stop your movements when they don't know what your next move is. You know, the, uh, the best thing I can give you is uh, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And that's how I try to live. So uh, I'm just going to give you all a little tidbit. I'm going to get up in here, I'm gonna get my protein on. Uh, I'm going to get in the shower. I, I didn't buy no Epsom salt because there's a sauna here. You can get some Epsom salt and soak in it. Uh, that's a good, that's a pretty good alternative for a sauna. I prefer a sauna though. Uh, but, uh, you know how we do it, man. Peace and blessings. I say.